Hi, thank you all so much for joining in. This is Tamara Oviet at Sacred Activations. And I'm doing this call or this recording for a couple of reasons. One, I wanna connect with all of you. Two, I wanna to talk to you about Sacred Activations, practitioner training and teacher training. And um, three, I'm going to run some activations. So at the end, um, after I've talked a little bit, we'll run some activations and um, answer some questions. And um, you're welcome to type in your questions, but I'll go to them at the end, or you're welcome to raise your hand. And um, I'll answer the questions at the end when, when I'm done here. Morning, Lisa. Here, I'm gonna mute you, honey. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time it is for you. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk about sacred activations. Um, I'm going to do a very, very quick story on how this all started. In late 90s, God told me I had to be a healer um, over and over and over again. And I said, prove to me this white light exists and I'll do what you tell me to do. And when I said that, I got this photo. Um, with this white light hitting me in the chest. And this was late 90s, right after the internet started. And it kind of blew me away. I kept it hidden. And God kept reminding me of, um, sorry, there goes the book. God kept reminding me of this over the years. I started doing hypnosis and NLP and theta healing and quantum energetics. And every time I would, I would hear, this is for your training, not what you're going to be doing. And late 2011, very frustrated, spent thousands and thousands of dollars on training and um, kept being told that wasn't what I was going to be doing. And I ended up going to England to meet this man that um, I was supposed to marry and went over there and said, God, what the hell am I doing here? I am not marrying this man. And then I was told when I screamed at God, <laughs> I got the answer to go to the Roslyn Chapel in Scotland. And when I did, I sat in the pews. I said, okay, God, I'm here. I was told to go to the, to the Acoustic Records where I met Lord Metatron. I had no idea who he was, which is funny because I used to teach classes on how to talk to your angels. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, Lord Metatron connected with me and I received all this energy swirling in through my DNA and it was followed up by these golden sails. And when I drove away, I was told to give these to others. So I started doing activations, well, the first activation with people. As a matter of fact, Jackie was one of the first ones. And, um, but I noticed that the golden seals didn't go in and I asked why not. And I was told that these are to go to people that will be practitioners and will be helping others. So that was March, 2012. Um, I stayed in Europe for eight months, um, wrote my book, first book, Learning to Listen to God, which I'm getting ready to publish. I'm asking for a copy of it right now from my editor. And um, I'm gonna publish that one. I didn't publish it because it was so many transformations and stories of really what I was going through and it was too personal for me to share <laughs> but now after um, heal yourself heal the world <laughs> I can share anything because that one gets really deep too <laughs> um, so so in September I taught my first class and I had 16 activations by that point and the first activations were Lord Metatron, okay, which is Lord Metatron cube. Um, flower of life, tree of life, um, um, seed of life. And these are all sacred geometry activations. And if you become a practitioner in the first 26 activations that you get to do with people in yourself are the sacred geometry activations. And just these first three activations I received, people were reporting healing from stroke problems after a year of having a stroke and having all these issues on a walker, not being able to button bra, were um, all of a sudden healed. I got lots of information from people with ovarian cancer and breast cancer where they went in for their surgeries and there was nothing there. 
And this was just the beginning. And this is all within the first couple activations I ever received. So doing the practitioner training, you can really help yourself and other people. There's 26 activations in the practitioner training to help you shift your life and shift that of the people around you. And since we're all connected and we're, we're collective consciousness and a collective subconsciousness, we're helping the whole world. I know it can be really overwhelming for some people to think that they have to help the world. You don't. You just have to help yourself. By helping yourself, you help the whole world. It's truly amazing. And then by um, 2013, I had master practitioner training. Now in the master practitioner training, I think we do over a hundred activations in four days. I mean, it's wild. I've had people say they don't know who they are after this training and it takes them a couple of weeks to catch up <laughs> because you're shifting so many belief systems. And with the master practitioner training, you can help groups. You can do what I'm doing um, and help lots of people. And after you do practitioner, master practitioner, you can do the first level teacher training. And you could start teaching people how to do this. And then there's Mastering the Masters, which is such an advanced class. First time I did it in 2014, I was blown away. When I started the class, I mean, I scheduled the class. I had no idea what I'd be teaching. And a friend of mine and I went on a cruise. And on that cruise, um, I was told, do this, do this, do this, do this. And it's like connecting with the sea creatures and and just all these really high evolved vibrations to really help you connect in and expand your consciousness so much. Um, and then I was told to do organ rejuvenation, esoteric energetics. And now that's been combined into the medical intuitive and it has expanded so much. We are doing um, activations in there. There's over 50 of them in there. But it's also really about really connecting with the body, talking to the organs, going inside and talking to the organs, hands-on healing inside the body, remotely. You're not actually sticking your hands in somebody's body, but you'll see yourself. You don't even have to be intuitive to do this, you guys. You know, God's in charge. What is God? God is all things. And that's the energy we use. And so there's medical intuitive training. And there is now um, teacher training for a master practitioner. So you can teach that. And I'm also, um, in the fall of this year, we'll be teaching medical intuitive teachers also. So I want you guys to go expand, go connect, do webinars or hands-on or in person. Go help people. Because when you're out there helping people, you're helping the whole world. And you're helping yourself. I think one of the coolest things about sacred activations, and I love this, is um, when you're doing private sessions or even group sessions, um, you get to work on yourself at the same time. So every time you have a client or a group, you're helping shift yourself and your belief systems and helping the world, of course. <laughs> and sacred activations clears on um, your physical, your genetic, your past life, future life, and even clears you out of collective consciousness belief systems and collective subconsciousness belief systems. Because we know 95% of our lives are ran by the subconsciousness. Well, you know we're all one consciousness. So guess what? The world is ran by the subconsciousness beliefs of the world. How cool is that to know that? And all these seers and mystics from the past talking about World War III, the world's going to end, this and that and this and that. That's all in the subconsciousness of humanity. And we're clearing that and we're changing that. I work on that a lot. And what happens in our physical world is we're going into world peace. And all the stuff that's happening is shifting us out of that, those belief systems, those veils, those all that stuff is falling and being released. And, you know, and people talk about going into the fifth dimension. We're there. Your thoughts, feelings, and emotions are creating much faster than they ever did before. 
So if you're creating things that you don't like, shift them. Um, and that's one thing we are doing in, um, well, in sacred activations and practitioner training and stuff. I have a webinar following this where we're bringing the, the 5D knowledge into our 3D reality so that we can really see what we're doing and, and shift that information so that we're not doing that anymore. Um, it's a process, but when you use sacred activations and something shifts, it shifts, it's done, it's over, it doesn't repeat. Sometimes it might take days, even weeks for it to completely shift because it's, it's like a program on a computer, the binary codes, the zeros and the ones, you know, when we run a sacred activation, it's that, that, that thought and it goes into that thought and starts unwinding it, which can go into many other thoughts, many other areas of your life. You know, when you talk about money problems, it could have to do with your family. It could to do so doing the family stuff helps you shift your money stuff or however, but a lot of times your physical problems all have to do with your emotional problems. And when you shift your emotional problems, you can shift your physical problems. So in sacred activations does all that. And when you're working on something physical, like you're doing hands on healing and stuff, you're going to hear the belief systems that cause that. I remember in early 2000, I was selling sailboats and yachts and I started doing healing work and I had this boss that had congestive heart failure. And so I asked him if I could work on him. He said, sure. And so I ran energy on him. A couple of weeks later, he reports back that he went and saw his daughter, doctor, and he no longer had congestive heart failure. And it was, I was like, wow, that's really cool. But I kept hearing, you have to change his belief systems. You have to change his belief systems. You have to change his belief system. I had no idea how. I was lost. I didn't know what to do. So then he gets in this relationship with this wild woman. <laughs> and um, then she breaks his heart. And then he dies of congestive heart failure. So it came back. You know, it's like people healing from cancer and it shows up somewhere else in their body. It's because the belief systems and those emotions weren't changed. So therefore they can recreate themselves. So changing belief systems is so important for any healing. And when you change the belief systems, the healing can really take place and the physical healing can happen. But you gotta change the emotions before you do the healing because otherwise it can recreate itself, if that makes sense. And with sacred activations, there's over 300 activations now available. A lot of them have to do with belief systems, but a lot of them also have to do with, um, with your vibration, bringing your vibration up to a higher and higher and higher level. You can't go from kindergarten to doctorate. There's steps in between you gotta go. And with sacred activations, we offer you all those steps so that you can get that doctorate of energy from the kindergarten energy. But it's steps, it's a process. Can't go from here to here. God clearly told me that's impossible. And I'll show you, you know, you've, a lot of you have probably heard this before, but I said, God, why can't I just do this? And I was showed this man riding a horse. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No cars exist, nothing. Do, 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 do. he's going through the mountains having a good time all of a sudden this big hand plucks him off the horse and puts him behind a spaceship and he's now driving a spaceship what do you think would happen to his mind it would be blown <laughs> so he's got to know that planes exist <laughs> and cars exist before he can realize that spaceships a bit exist and that he can fly those it's the same thing with energy so sacred activations help you Clear out all those emotions that are keeping you stuck. And then also the ascension activations like the Godhead activation. I had one guy, which I put a warning on that activation. Do not do this unless you've done these first. And he didn't listen. He figured he was advanced enough to do the Godhead. Without it, he did the Godhead and slept for a week. And he was a little pissed. 
I did this activation and I slept for a week. It's like, well, didn't you read the warnings? <laughs> you know, sacred activations, anybody can do this. Anybody can learn how to do this. You receive the golden seals to do it. I teach you how to do it. It's a God modality. God's doing the work. You can't screw it up. All you have to do is say the activation and the energy starts. It's all you have to do. And you go, well, when do I stop the energy? Trust me, you'll know. The energy, you'll feel it go down or you'll be aware of it or it just, you'll just know. And, and it'll stop and then you're told which other activation to do. I've tried to do activations because when I first started doing this, I had the, I don't know, 12 activations. Okay, we do this one, then we do this one, and then we do this one, and we go in line. And um, I tried to do the um, super DNA activation with the client, and there was no energy. And I said, are you afraid of this? He says, no, I've been listening to a recording for the last couple months that has said to do this. So the energy didn't run because he didn't need it. And there was another time I was trying to do this activation, and I heard, no, do this one. And I wasn't trusting what I was hearing because I was still new at this. I'm doing this one. No, do this one. No, I'm doing this one. I tried to run the energy. It didn't work. <laughs> so you can't do it wrong. You can't mess it up. You are the facilitator. God is the healer. That's all you have to do is know that the work is happening and it happens. Just connecting to it. You can't mess it up. You can't give people activations unless you have their approval. You can't just say, oh, my ex-boyfriend left me. I'm going to run a bunch of activations on him and make him want me again. They won't run. You cannot misuse the synergy. People that have tried to misuse this energy, they no longer can run the energy because it can't be misused. So don't worry about it. So I'm going to take some question and answers right now, and then um, I'm going to run some activations. Does anybody have any questions about the practitioner training? Yes. God is a healer through us as his heart in the physical world. Absolutely. God is a healer. This isn't angel healing. This isn't, I love angels. Talk to a lot of them. Talk to a lot of masters. But this is God healing. That's what this is, which is really cool. Then you get to say, I work for God. How cool is that? Um, yeah, you can, um, we have people from all over the world attend the classes and, um, no, you can do the acoustic records for humans and animals before that. And, um, we are offering Honey, that's up to you. Is learning Reiki enough? Reiki and sacred activations aren't the same thing. See you there. I love the energy of the practitioner training so much. It is amazing. You learn so much and change so much. Yeah. And what's cool is you make friends all over the world because we do this online. You can also come in person if you prefer to train in person. And you get friends all over the world. And we have a practitioner page that's private just for practitioners. And they um, do trades, they work on each other. Um, you can say I have a client that's got this and this and this, what do I do? And people pitch in and say, try this and this and this, do this activation and that activation. And it's, it's just such an amazing group of of amazing people and you don't have to have a, a I used to think that you had to be an advanced healer to take this this training and I used to say that but anybody can do this it's like I said you can't mess it up and once you're a practitioner you get to redo the practitioner trainings as often as you want 
So if you do it once, you can do it again and again and again, as many times as you want. And we have a lot of practitioners that do that. One, the information's always evolving. Two, when you do it again, you're connecting with more people and you're working on yourself and getting worked on. And three, when you repeat the training, you get to help other people in the class that have never done it before. So they feel secure on what they're doing. So it helps everybody. It's amazing. Going through the training is fantastic. And you can attend, yeah, over and over again. Um, so we have practitioner training coming up and then we have masters, mastering the masters, medical intuitive, and then we have teacher trainings for all the different levels so that you can teach this. I would like to get to the point where I'm just teaching teachers and, and you guys are certifying everybody as practitioners. And I really look forward to that. Um, I, I, we have amazing teachers already. I mean, they're, they're in England, they're in Turkey, they're, they're all over the world. And I'm looking forward to expanding that because the more you guys go out and help people, the more the world shifts. And my thing has always been about world peace. God clearly told me my job is the people, you. So I'm here to help you shift. you have students who are already medical intuitives who take the medical intuitive training? If so, how does their work change? Um, you have to do the practitioner and masters before you can take the medical intuitive training, but we also activate your hands. And when we activate your hands, they can, it can be used long distance healing and you could feel your hands vibrating and stuff or they get hot. And anybody that's had any other, um, trainings with hands-on healing or anything say this is a lot different than anything they've ever experienced and anybody I've talked to that's done this training and a lot of the people that do this training are very advanced in other um, modalities and they say this is the most advanced training they've ever experienced I'd like to say something if I can about the medical intuitive training yeah, um, please speak up though a little bit, okay? Oh, let me turn my volume up. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, is the activation of the hands is very, very powerful. And there's a certain field when Tamara is doing a training that is very profound and just around this whole work. So I've always been intuitive in a lot of ways. Um, I haven't had formal anatomy and everything. And I'm, but doing the medical intuitive training, just putting your hands around somebody is uh like an organ or a place of the body on the inner it's like it just flows and it's just the transmission all of everything that we receive as activations um so there's just a huge download of of information that comes and it just comes like a river so it's just an initiation we receive going through the um training and so i hadn't really had a formal background in medical intuitive stuff even though I'm very intuitive and I just I was putting my hands around people's organs and and what I had found is all the different body parts are talking to each other all the different belief systems it's just like this whole integrated um, you know field of information that we get in a very unique way so I highly recommend it thank you Somebody asked if they could do this in Portuguese. They're Brazilian. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have a translator there for you if you need some help with that. And because your line's muted unless you're asking questions. So you can have a translator there or German or, or whatever. You have a translator there with you. And so you can absolutely do that. As Sarah said, I have trained in many energy therapies. Sacred activation is something entirely different and will change you in a really deep way. I totally recommend it for anyone. I look at pictures from myself from years ago and it's like I'm looking at a different person. This work changes you, absolutely. I mean, I look totally different than I did five years ago. Totally different.
my energy is completely different. I can't say I look younger, but I look softer, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, if you have done the Golden Seals training or the self-healing training, you get a $200 off coupon for this training. And right now, we're offering a $500 coupon towards any of the activations or packages on the website. It's an expo special we're running. So if you can buy packages that are already 70% off and buy a couple of packages and end up with like 75, 80 activations. And when you sign up for this, you also get the first 26 activations that it's included in this. Plus you get a $500 coupon to use towards any of the activations. And if you have done the self-healing, you have a $200 off coupon for the practitioner training. We even offer six month payment plans. I mean, we do this as, as easy as possible and the pricing of, of the practitioner training is lower than most modalities out there. And from what I understand from other people that have done this training, it's the most advanced training out there and you get the replays because there's so much given in a weekend that you might want to redo it <laughs> at some point at home and, and reuse it to, to help yourself. And if you can't be on live, if you can't be on live, you get the replays or if you have to miss half the day or one day, you get all that. Um, somebody said in Iran, yeah, so yeah, no problem. If you, can't, if you can't make the whole training, you get the replays and then you get to do the other replays. Unfortunately, there aren't any practitioners in my country. I live in Iran. Perfect, do sacred activations. In some countries, they block the credit card processing. We have now opened up where we take um, check processing. So all, in the checkout, you can also do it through your checking account um, or credit card or PayPal. And if that doesn't work, we'll set it up so you can Western Union the money. However, yeah, the training is live online, just like we're doing right now. And you get to ask questions. And what's really cool is in the practitioner training, you go into different groups. Like on this, I select, I say, okay, let's open up 30 windows. And all of a sudden you're in with one or two people. And there's like two to three of you per room working on each other. And um, so it's full on, you get to do this. And if you're uncomfortable doing it, then you can just get worked on. And then when you feel confident, then you can do it too. It's, it's totally up to you, but practice. Um, there's usually um, advanced practitioners on these calls to help you. And you can always come in and ask me questions. I'm here to help. Um, after practitioner training, what is the next step I could take? Um, there's master practitioner training. And with master practitioner training, you get to do it on multiple people at once. Practitioner training, the first level is one-on-one. -on -one. And the reason is, is because if you don't know how to do this right, you can really knock yourself out for a few days. I, I was doing an expo in 2013 and I jumped, I had a room full of like 70 people I was doing activations on. And I was told how to stay out of the energy. I didn't listen. I jumped in the energy. I knocked myself out. That night I was throwing up and I was in bed for three days. So no group until you've done the masters. So one-on-one -on -one with the practitioner training, masters, you can do as many people as you want. I suggest you start with two or three people and then expand. And mastering the masters is really about you, but also to help your clients. But those are very, very advanced activations 
after you've done the practitioner and masters to do the mastery and the masters. And then the medical intuitive, oh my God. You know, even if you don't want to do sacred activations on people, just by doing sacred activation training, it'll help you in whatever else you're doing. You know, if you're a counselor and you talk to people, I have counselors that use this in their practice with children and, and adults. And they don't say, hey, I'm gonna run the Mother Mary activation on you. They say, hey, can I run some energy about way, how you feel about other people in the world? Do you mind if I connect and help you clear that? You know what I mean? So you don't have to say, I'm gonna run the Lord Metatron activation. You could say, hey, I wanna help you line up. You feel a little disorientated. Do you mind if I help you do that? If you're like a counselor or a doctor or something like that, that you can't state that stuff. It's available for you that way. So, and then, you know, some of the activations, cause you know, I was raised Christian and I'm into Jesus and I'm in, well, I'm also into Mary, which <laughs> wasn't part of my Christianity upbringing, but, um, but also Buddha and, you know, Kuan Yin, they've all come in and gave me these activations. That's where these activations came from. They came in and gave them to me. Um, but if you're living in a part of the world where that stuff isn't accepted, you could just give them the description of the activation and what it does. You don't have to use the name. I have some people in, in the Philippines that, um, you know, they don't resonate with Christianity, so they don't want to say the Christ consciousness or um, Mary Magdalene, you know. They, they just tell what it is, so they don't use the name. But I've named these things this because these are the entities that gave me the activation. Susan, hi Tamara, I've taken Theta Medical Intuitive Training in person. Would I need to take your Medical Intuitive program as well? It's completely different, honey. Sacred Activations is not Theta Healing at all. When I first started this, I used the seventh plane as connection. Now we go into the energy of God. We don't use the seventh plane. If you're more comfortable in the seventh plane, you're welcome to do that. But we connect with the God energy. And it's completely different than the medical intuitive training and theta healing, because I've taken it. As a matter of fact, I'm a, I was a certified teacher in it. I haven't recertified myself. So I'm not certified in theta anymore, but I was certificate of science. Um, master teacher in Theta Healing, which I love Theta Healing. This is great training. This is totally different. I have a question. Yes. Uh, it might be a little off subject, but you were mentioning the Christian thing. And I, I was just wondering what you've gotten about, or if we have people that are working on that Christian thing, because I know a personal person that I know that was very, very high in the New Age uh, movement, a published author, she sort of had a fall and got it sucked into the born again Christian thing. One of the more intuitive people. So is that a false Jesus that comes or some sort of thought form? Because there is that, you know, and we don't have to get into it now if it's a little on the, I'm putting it on the clipboard for at some point, <laughs> but just presencing it. If we're working with people that have that Christian thing, is there actually some sort of group field with an actual entity connect to it that people see that isn't the real Jesus telling me. Well, I mean, there is the real Jesus and um, amazing, amazing. But, you know, the son of God, we're all sons and daughters of God. And like Jesus says, you can do this and more, you know, um, we can all. And that's a huge thing that people get caught up into, that the, only Jesus can do healing. Jesus told you, you could do this and more. You will do this. And we do this and we connect with the God energy to do it. You know, I heard God tell me um, a couple of weeks ago, kind of blew me away. Said, there's many creators, but there's only one God. And we're really all creators and there's a lot of master creators, but there's only one God. So that's as far as I'm gonna get into that um, at this point. So I promised some activations and I've got a webinar coming up in 30 minutes. <laughs> so let's get some activations done for you. I wanna do a sacred geometry activation and I also wanna do anger and resentment. 
um, because 99% of my clients need anger and resentment activation. <laughs> so we're going to run that. Um, let's do um, Lord Metatron. And, and that activates your 12 to 18 strands of DNA, depending on where you're at. There's 18 strands of DNA available on the planet right now that can be activated. Some people say there's a lot more. I'm told there's up to 18. Again, riding the horse, flying the spaceship. <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to do um, Lord Metatron, which is a sacred geometry activation. And I'm going to do that now. And while I'm doing that, I'm silent. Just go into your heart. Okay, I'm going to do anger and resentment. This one's called on the website, anger and resentment towards God. But if you have anger and resentment towards God or towards yourself, it's all really a mirror. So if you're angry at someone, you're angry at yourself. Or you blame God for something. How many people say it's God's fault?
We're going to bring this energy in future past lives. Through your genetics. through the collective consciousness. Okay, we're going to do healthy boundaries. So think about your boundaries, are they healthy? With others, with yourself? Okay, bring your energy into Mother Earth. Imagine you go all the way into Mother Earth's heart chakra. Just connect and ground. I'd keep going, but I have another webinar in 15 minutes and I need a little break before I start again. Um, the webinar that's coming up is um, your 3D reality. We're um, bringing that into your 5D so you can see what you're doing. So you're bringing your, really your 5D knowledge into your 3D reality. Um, being derailed, you go so far and you're doing really, really, really good and then something's created and you totally derail yourself. I was doing that. 
So uh, a lot of these activations, trust me, are for me. <laughs> and of course you, but they help me too. Laser focus, to really be able to focus on something and, and to go through it and to um, focus. Laser focus. Instead of getting bored and going over here and over there and doing this and doing that and getting sidetracked, laser focus. I mean, derailment's a little different than that laser focus, you know what I mean? Because it's like, pew, you totally get knocked off course and you gotta come back and, you know, I used to always run away. I've been running away for five years and I almost ran away again. <laughs> I was packing up my cats and I was going to England again. <laughs> I was out of here. I even thought about going to Shasta or, or uh, Sedona. It was, uh, and God's whole no, you're standing your ground, you're staying where you are, and you're going to focus. But my thing was always to run away. It's like, okay, how can I leave now? So I can't leave you guys. <laughs> I actually feel good about it. Because <laughs> if you guys have been following me at all, I've been all over the freaking globe for the last five years. So laser focus, staying here. Um, so yeah, we have a webinar coming up. It's if you got the email for the links for here, you've got the link to sign up for the webinar that's coming up right now. Um, after the webinar, because this will be six, five, five different activations. They'll be separated into five different activations, and which will cost a hundred dollars. Where if you sign up now, you get um, all five for even if you can't be on the call. You'll get them in your um, account um, for 25 bucks. So you save 75 bucks by signing up now. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. I always love how you call me Tamra. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, love you. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you for asking questions. And thank you for sharing, practitioners. I super appreciate that. Love you all. Have an amazing, amazing day. Thank you. Bye.